Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn and understand class 9th poem, A Slumber Did My Spirit Seal by William Wordsworth. It's a very small poem in which the poet is mourning the death, the departure of a loved one. It is believed that the poet is talking about his beloved Lucy as it is as he has a collection of poem with the name the Lucy poems. So it is believed that he is mourning the death of his loved one Lucy. This poem is about the death of a loved one. How does the poet feel when he thinks about her death? How does he imagine her to be after that? So we will read how does he feels and how does he imagines his loved one after death. A slumber did my spirit seal. I had no human fears. She seemed like a thing that could not be felt, the touch of earthly years. Slumber is a deep sleep and seal means closed or locked. The poet says that my spirit has gone into deep sleep. My spirit was locked. I could not imagine. I could not think. I had no human fears. There was no human fear inside me. She seemed like a thing that could not be felt, the touch of earthly years. She has become a thing which couldn't be felt. I did not know or I did not feel that she will ever leave me or she will ever age. She will ever be affected by the passing years on the earth. But that has happened which has closed my spirit as well because I could not think beyond that. In this stanza, the poet is expressing his grief over the loss of a loved one. Death has taken her away and the poet is so grieved, so sad by it that he feels that his own soul has gone into deep sleep. He has become completely numb, completely motionless, emotionless. He used to think that nothing can take her away from him. But now, even the, not even the time on the earth, not even with the passing of time she can go. But now, the poet does not have any human fears like those of loss, death, etc. As his loved one has gone and he has become numb. Now, the loved one who has gone seems like a thing who cannot be felt, who could not feel anything or, or who could not feel anything present on the earth, even the passing of time. No motion has she now, no force. She neither hears nor sees. Rolled round in earth's diurnal with rocks and stones and trees. Diurnal means daily, daily motion of the earth. Now the poet says that the loved one who has gone has no motion in her body, not even any force. She cannot do any activity which a human do like hearing or seeing. She has just become one with the earth. She has mingled with the earth. She is buried deep below the earth. And she is also rolling around like the earth rolls around the sun, right? Like the earth rotates around the sun in its daily course. So she is also doing the same because she has become one with the nature. She has mingled with the nature with rocks and stones and trees in the nature. Now the poet further says that there is no motion, movement or force left in her body. As death has taken everything, she neither hears nor sees anything. She has mingled with the earth, rotating with the earth in its daily motion round the sun. She is now a part of the earth in the form of trees, rocks and stones moving along with the earth. She has become a part of nature itself. So the poet is now feeling her with the nature, although her body has gone, but she is present deep in the nature she has become one in the nature one with the nature and she is present in the form of nature now let's see literary devices in which we'll first see rhyming scheme this is very small poem of just eight lines and if you see the last word of each line you will see that the rhyming scheme is a b c b d e f e and also there is alliteration used in the poem the instances of alliteration you will find in the lines you can see in the poem Spirit sealed, had no human, now no, and rolled round. Alliteration is a figure of speech in which first letter of each uh, successive words or consecutive words or closely placed words have same sound. So this is about the poem. It is a small poem. You can go through it. If you have any doubt, you can comment. Bye-bye.